how to create a Catherine wheel effect in Photoshop using a gradient. Now I'm using Photoshop CC 220, use 219, 218, etc. So you can get a design that looks a bit like this. Obviously, it's not going to be exactly the same. I'm not going to be able to recreate it exactly the same. I'm just going to go to completely fresh document. And the key thing here is gradient tool. So the gradient tool, and you've got gradients here. I've got the legacy default gradient. Now I've got tutorials. If you haven't got your legacy gradients, please go and check out the tutorials for that, how to get the legacy default gradients back. Well, I'm using this gradient there. And I'm using linear, and I'm using difference. So with difference there, just simply apply across document. Hold down shift so you get it nicely like that. Now you don't have to, of course, but this is what I'm, I'm doing this one. You could, of course, go any direction if you want to create a very unusual. I'm just, and you can apply it a couple of times, three times, 10 times, and build up a very complex gradient. Once you've done that, what you can do, you can go to filter, and you can go down to distort and twirl. Now I'm going to set it to the max, 999. Now you can, so you can go the other way. If you want to go the other way, just go that direction. Or you can have it just like that, maybe slightly less of a twirl. But I'm just going to go for the full on twirl. Well, actually, why not just to show you, you can set it different. It doesn't have to be all the way. Click OK. And you can see your design. And you get this lovely kind of entry point there. Now, this is where you get the Catherine wheel effect. Simply go to the elliptical there and then select over that area. Now, holding the shift key down, you end up with this nice circular selection. And when you've got that still selected, elliptical marquee, if you hover over there and see, you can see a little cursor change. And what you can do, you can then transform that so you can just move it. And I want it to be approximately over the most of it. It's not, I can spend a bit of time just tweaking that, but I'm just gonna put it about there. And so you've got that nice entry point there, as well as the spiral itself. Now, could just use this, I could just copy this, but I don't want to do that. I want to go to select, and I want to add a bit of feather into it. So select, modify, and feather. And I'm going with 30, 40, depends on the document. Click OK. Now what you can do, edit and copy, or Control C. I'm just going to go now to a completely fresh document, and then I can paste it in. Now, you can see at this point, it's obviously looking like Catherine Wheel, sort of. However, to make it truly look like a, more like a Catherine Wheel, what you can do, simply hold down the Alter Option key and drag, then go to Edit, and go down to Transform, and Flip Horizontal, and Edit, and Transform, and Flip Vertical. So you've got that, on, and you can put those on top. And now you've got your Catherine wheel effect. Obviously it's hidden underneath, but you've got this design there and you've got this design going the other way as well. So you've got both directions, basically a Catherine wheel. And of course you can then select both of those and turn them into layer and go down to smart objects and convert to smart object. Now you could, if you want to, another thing you could do, so you've got your smart object, you could save this to a library. So window and libraries, put the whole lot to a library. You can also, I'm just gonna go back slightly. Now I'm just gonna to go to just before all the flip there. So just gonna got the, don't want that, that's the original design. So you've got that one design there, that one layer. What you can do, you can turn that into a smart object. So a layer and smart objects convert to a smart object. Now it's converted to smart object. Now what you can do is you can duplicate it. So I could do layer menu and duplicate layer, or hold the alter option key down again and drag. It's another option. So you've got, key thing is you've got two layers, but they're smart objects this time. So a smart object, what you can then do, of course, you can modify them at a later point. So now I'm just gonna quickly transform this one. So flip horizontal exactly as before edit and transform and flip vertical. So you've got your design there. Now I'm gonna have them lined up, just using the alignments there, and you've got your nice there. 
select both those and you've got layer and smart objects convert to smart object so you've got that catamaran effect and they're all smart objects so they can be altered at any point thing is what you can do go over here so you've got layers panel and if you can't see the layers panel I should have said window and layers double click and that will enter that smart object and you can double click there into that design and that's the source design now what you can do you can go to adjustments hue and saturation change color and of course what you can also do if you want you could modify distort the design slightly apply some effects or maybe use some of these effects just go maybe add some brush strokes all those sorts of things maybe apply a blur you can blur, blur say to the center or maybe around the edge you can just apply a whole load of effects as well as effects up here as well so go to filter and maybe stylize and maybe oil paint you can play, apply a couple of oil paints and let's see if i can find some other tools that but there's a whole range of different smudge tool that's a bit small so increase that a bit so i can actually you can just see smudge and modify or maybe drag this out you can tweak it in numerous ways don't have to keep it a perfect spiral it's up to you what you want to create so once you've done all that close that save now you've got your design there save that one because it's two levels and you've got your design there so you can see you can modify it in numerous ways now it's a smart object and you can of course go to that and maybe apply or paint to that as well. Oil paint, filter, oil paint. And you can see what you can also do, of course, is you can always remove them at any point. You can apply multiple effects to this design. And also you can always, of course, go to image, adjustments, hue and saturation, color balance, black and white. So if you want to turn it into a black and white image, you can do that. You can click OK. So you've got your Catherine wheel design there going both directions. And also, of course, what you can do, image adjustments, if you want to, hue and saturation, you can always add multiple. So maybe colorize. Click OK. So you've got a blue one there. And then, of course, what you can do, you can also hold down the alter option key or go to a layer and duplicate, just as good. You can duplicate that, and you can always go then over to here to the layers. Key thing is having the layers still there. Just double click on there, bring up that, and then you can change the color of that by just changing the hue. And you can then repeat that and maybe double click on that one. Modify. You can actually modify if you want to modify the smart object, you can actually just modify that. So you can actually I'm going to do that and resize the whole thing. I want to select both and resize it. You can resize that, maybe rotate it a bit, close that. Now that will be updated in all of them. It takes a bit of time just to process. You can see design and shrinks there, and that's consistent all the way through. What I was going to do, I'm just going to go here, I made a slight mistake there. So I wanted to double click on the hue and saturation, and I want to change colour there. So green. And of course, also another thing you can do, you can always go, this is a layer, but this will only be applied to this design. So layer, you can go to layer style, bevel and boss. And you can obviously modify this, tweak the bevel and boss for your design. Maybe go to drop shadow, so you can add shadow there. We see settings always never what you want. So a bit of tweaking there. Modify that. And of course you can go and add other things, maybe color or gradient overlay. So you've got a gradient there. And of course at the moment it says normal, but you can also go to darken, overlay, difference. And you can see you've got that. So you've got radial. 
changes scale, and you can move the origin point around. And of course, you can change the gradient as well. You don't have to go with that one. Maybe just go with that gradient. And again, you can see you can create all kinds of quite unusual Catherine wheel like effects. And you can, of course, add more than one gradient because you've got the option here with the plus. So click OK. So, hope you found this tutorial about Catherine wheels and in Photoshop of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, Finity Photo, Finity Designer, Painter, Critter, GIMP. There must be loads more applications. And also, if you could add some comments, always appreciate it. It's always nice to hear what I've done wrong, what I've done right, things that I can do, you know, add maybe in the future. Also, please put a dislike or like. That'd be great. Thank you much.